G'day everybody and welcome or welcome back to another adventure fishing out of Botany Bay. Ooh, bit bright out there. It's been four weeks since I've been fishing and let me tell you it was a freaking struggle to get out here today but I made myself do it and we're here now. It is a magnificent morning, let me show you. Just take that in, not a breath of wind. Clear skies, it's gonna be very warm and we have the entire day to spend out here in this magnificent environment. I've been very slack, it's been four weeks, but we're here now, that is the main thing. I've gotten out of bed and I've achieved launching the boat and getting out on the water for another fishing session. So I don't know what we're going to do today. I don't know what's going on, but we're going to do some exploring. I'm alive. We're going to do some exploring and see how we go. Sit back, relax. I'm going to take you with me. Let's go fishing. Just gonna refuel because I forgot to refuel. Refuel. I think it was 40. Beautiful. Look how many hours are on my engine now, guys, and look at my odometer. That is freaking crazy. I gotta get out there, stop mucking around. We're gonna head that way towards La Perouse and um, Kernel. I don't know what I'm going to do. It's like being in a candy store as a kid. You don't know what you want. You want everything and you just stand there looking in awe. I honestly don't know where to go. So bear with me. We will pick a place and we will start fishing. Magnificent morning. But there is one thing. There's little insects everywhere in the bay. I don't know if you can see them there crawling around. They're crawling on me. They're freaking everywhere. Anyway, let's get to it. Let's get going. Let's catch some fish. Bird activity inside the bay today is out of this world. There are schools, or actually there are flocks, they're called flocks, flocks of birds everywhere. And I think that is due to the amount of debris in the water from the rains we've had. Nobody is fishing the runway. I can see ahead of me there, there is not one boat at the runway. I'm gonna go check it out. Maybe something's going on there and nobody's picked up on it yet. We'll see. 
That's a massive hole next to the runway. Never noticed that before. I'm gonna fish here. Even though there's nothing on the sounder, I'm gonna give it a go. a spot lock here and I apologize in advance for the aeroplane noise we are 20 meters from a runway it's actually gonna be very noisy here guys so I'm just going to have a quick check to see if there's any fish here and then we'll move out of this area. Big plane coming right now, it's going to be very loud. It's mad, check it out. Virtuous 3000 on my NS Black Hole Amp 2 Flatty Rod, and I'm just going to put together my rig now while it's quiet. UV Glow Yellow Sinker. My mate's approaching me from the side. He's coming. He's coming. Almost here. He's here. Hello. What are you going for, King? Man, I saw a few archers just here, so I figured I'll give it a go because no one's here. Yeah. Looks alright. That's called teamwork, guys. Where are my snippies? We'll be right back. Okay, so I've just put a 10 gram sinker, UV yellow, nice bright day to a swivel. pound leader which is about 15 centimeters long to a uni knot it's a very simple rig guys you can look at my how to make the half pilly rig video somewhere in my youtube it'll show you how to make it uv glow bead because i'm all about the attraction the more things you have to attract fish or bait to your um, to your rig the better and a 3-0 octopus mustad hook just tie that on with a uni knot which 
trying to go as fast as I can before the plane comes. And that is the rig. I'll get some fresh human grade sardines out of the back there and um, we'll drop it down and see if there's any fish around the runways. Fresh frozen human grade sardines. You can see the ice steam coming off her. That is so epic. They're pretty frozen still, but she'll be right. Here's your strength, Daryl. Straight through the spine of the tail, turn it. Straight through the spine of the body, turn it. something and there's someone's rigging him or her or it <laughs> it's freaking huge okay let's open the bail arm so we don't break anything there's my rig there's somebody else's rig here I'm gonna have to deal with this Freaking hard. All right, I got my rig out. That's important. I got the second rig out, that's somebody's rig. Keep going bro, you can do it. You can do it, get out of the boat yourself. Oh, that's a big octopus. Yeah! Successful release of a beautiful big octopus. I didn't have to get involved. See you later buddy. Okay, so that was really good, I got to take this out of the octopus, it's a very hard line maybe someone going for jewfish throw that away later my half pilly rig is intact I'll do one more drop these the mosquitoes are out of freaking control if they are mosquitoes Get the Mitchies.
hook up, don't hook up, don't hook up. Itchies. See how it goes. Should wash my hands, but I didn't. Let's get out of here. These mosquitoes are really pissing me off. Completely covered in itchies, itchies, and now they're just like flying around me, but they won't come on me, which is just as bad as coming on me. So. Oh, you freaking see them all. Look at all this. You see all that? That's freaking ridiculous. Let's get out of here. I'm gonna give Molly a go. And there's some alright marks which I'll show you in a second. There's not many boats here. See those marks? Those marks are pretty. We'll just drop a quickie down. There's a bit of current here. It's already heading that way. I might have to go heavier. Okay, I'm gonna go heavier. Oh wow, it's all messed up. I'm gonna go heavier and I'm gonna try again. Okay, 20 gram sinker, half pilly head, Molly point. What have you got, Molly? That's a big brim. Is it, Taylor? That's a Taylor to start the day. It's not bad either. Not bad. Let it go. I'm 
Okay, half pilly head versus molly point. Let's see how we go. On the drop. On the drop. Better fish too. <laughs> Much better fish. Okay, that's a salmon. That's got to be a salmon. It's going to jump. It's going to jump. It's on the surface. Big tailor or salmon. Sambo. Sambo. Yeah. Nice. That is a nice salmon. I'm just going to tire it out and then grab the net, which is on the other side of the boat. I'm not sure how much of the video was cut off because somebody rung me, but I've landed the salmon. There it is right there and I'm going to let it go. That is a beautiful Botany Bay Molly Point salmon. Let's get it back in the water. Right, buddy. Okay, so the fish are at Molly Point. That's great news. And there's no one really here. So, one tailor, one salmon. We'll see what else we can find here on the magic half pilly. Gotta land it. It's all right, size too. Ha <laughs> ha! Look at that. Nice salmon, half pilly rig is in its spot. UV yellow sinker 20 gram, beautiful. Not gonna muck around with this one, it's going back. Beautiful, Molly Point. What else have we got? So 
I'm dropping in front of my boat and the current is bringing it towards the back of the boat, making sure the sinker is on my swivel because that current is ripping it up the main line. We don't want that. Once I'm at the bottom, which is there, I'm just making sure the line is tight, just sitting on the bottom. The current's pushing it on the bottom. If you can imagine the sand pushing my sinker and my bait that way, and that must be attracting the fish. I think another fish is about to come on now. I just felt a nice bite. Yep. Look at that freshness. another salmon on the light rod this is freaking fun I think it's a smaller salmon it's not that big I'll tell you what though the new ATC Virtuous 3000 is doing well I put 16 pound on it no more stupid light line we've gone heavy rod is extremely light it's a three to six kilo ns black hole amp two flathead rod that handles anything that's good oh, oh. Right, uh. there's a kingy chasing it Okay, it just got bigger. It could be in the 50s, this one. Do you want to see it? Yeah, I'll show you. Get it in the boat and let it go. Oh, it's a big one. That's a big one. It's bleeding. I'm gonna get it out of here. Give it a chance to swim off. That's a nice salmon though. Molly Point is the place to be. Okay. Let it go. Just for scale, it's almost 50 centimeters, so that is a good one.
Oh, it actually kicked off. See you later, buddy. Straight through the tail spine, straight through the spine again, turn it around. I've used the same leader I had on before, so it's much shorter now. Simple but effective. Sound that is bait lots and lots of bait and they are the predator salmon tailor possibly kingfish they are on top forcing that bait down feeding in it that close to molly point I grab the line, I'm just making sure the sinker gets to the swivel. And now I'm just going to feed it. I know I'm near the bottom. Okay. I'm just going to lay it on the floor. I'm not even going to touch it. Yes! That's 
near 60. That is near 60. What a beauty. <laughs> Beautiful. See where the book is. Still see the bait down its cob is pretty cool. I'm gonna have to chop that one out, which is fine, and then I'll let it go. Oh, it's just vomited the pilly. It's vomited the pilly. Let's let it go anyway. It's about 53, 54 centimeters. And you're ready, mate. See you later, buddy. I'm gonna do one more pilly here. Okay, there's half pilly tail. I'll drop that down, then I'll drop the head down, and then we'll move. We'll see what Yarra Bay is doing, we'll see what La Perouse is doing, because I'm gonna be on high tide radio tomorrow, and I need to be able to give everybody a thorough report of what's going on. So, two more, two more baits and we're done. Midwater, midwater bite is something special. That could have been a king. That could have been a king. Now I don't want to move. Next to me. Oh, shit, under the boat. Sixty centimeters, maybe it's even bigger than before. Yeah, 
a big one. That's a big one. Oh, fuck yes. That's a big salmon. That's a big salmon. And it's got a good hook up. It's gonna release beautifully. Wow, well, I'm tired. Wow, well, I'm tired. Look at the hook up. Half pilly rig hook up. And that is almost 65 centimeters of pure salmon. Botany Bay, Molly Point. Wow. Oh, so unfit. Get the hook out, give it a good release. Happy fishing. Happy fishing. is out that's a big salmon you can see it's a big salmon see you later buddy fuck yeah I don't even know why I'm trying again. I'm freaking tired. Really unfit. Maybe we can just catch a broom this time. Give my arms a break. They're still here. I've got to show you the concave of boats that have come around me since I've been catching those salmon. It's pretty cool. Check this out. Crazy, huh? Okay, that's a ball of bait. They are predators forcing the bait that way. You can see something came and just stopped them. That's crazy. Right, there's 12 boats here. Let's let someone else catch a fish. Go check it out Yarra Bay.
very important guys to protect your skin from the sun always use zinc sunscreen and then tanning lotion on top if you want to tan it's getting windy it's getting windy over here I'm gonna go there that one almost at Yarra Bay but I just want to make mention of something you might have noticed I've got new sunnies again for the last year or so I've been wearing cheap rubbish sunglasses you know without polarized lens just for the fancy um, pink and blue lenses or uh, pink and blue frames and lenses just fancy stuff but they weren't protecting my eyes so I went and got myself a pair of proper polarized glasses these are 8k lenses it's like seeing with a filter of high definition in the world like i can't explain it i've um i've never purchased an expensive pair of sunglasses before i did have maui gyms but they did wear out after about three years of me scratching the shit out of them and the polarized fading out so these are sun god and so far, I cannot fault them. They are extremely high quality sunnies. Um, yeah, it's like, it's like seeing in high definition. Maybe later I can put the glasses over the camera and show you, but they are absolutely phenomenal. The lens thing is in the corner, 8K, oh, polarized. It's like ultra high definition polarization filter can't explain it but yeah i decided i'm gonna take care of my eyes since i need them to do what i do in life so yeah you guys should consider doing the same get yourself a quality pair of glasses you don't have to get these ones obviously but i highly recommend them so far Okay, so the flathead are in Yarra Bay, but there's no size to them. I'll do a few more drops here, and then we'll move on to Lapa. We'll check Lapa out. See you later, buddy. And um, see how we go. That is a nice little shovel and I'll let it go. Hey, wiggle. Stop wiggling. Gotcha. That's a boy. Dangly bits. See you later, buddy. Gotta get out of here. Where are you? I can't even see. These glasses are so polarized that I can't see anything, so 
If you're wondering why I look at the camera strange so often in this video, it's because I can't see. Now I can see. Might go for a little swim. It's very hot. I got no towels, I got no swimmers. But it might make me feel a bit better. Now I just remember there's sharks in here. I no longer want to go for a swim. That's crazy. Let's go Lapa. Let's go check out Lapa. Bet your Lapa's got some flooding. I've come to my favourite place in the whole of Botany Bay to have lunch. That's Little Kongi, Little Kong Wong. Sometimes not so Little Kongs, if you know what I mean. Absolutely beautiful. I'm gonna have lunch here. So, this is my new hat. I hope you like it. It's been sitting on top of my phone, keeping it cold this whole time so it doesn't overheat because it's been really hard to film with this heat. So my hat has been sacrificed up there. But for now, I'm gonna wear it because I'm still and it's really hot. The last time I was here, I had nippers. I threw a nipper out for fun while eating lunch and I caught my biggest whiting. So I'm just gonna put a little sliver of pilly out while I eat and we never know what's gonna happen. Anything's possible. What have I got for lunch, you might wonder? Steak sandwich. It's going to get messy, guys. We'll be right back. Because it's so hot, I've just put a little hard body out trolling. It's a deep diving lure. If anything happens, I'll come back and show you and I'll show you the lure I'm using as well. It's just too hot to be stationary right now, so I'm just going to cruise around, cool down a little bit, chill out, see what happens. Never know. That's the lure I was trolling, if anyone's interested. I have no idea what it is. It's been in my boat since I first had my top ender and it just comes with me everywhere I go. The hooks are brilliant, even though they're rusted out. It's a good lure. I think it's a Yozuri. Somebody would be able to tell me. I don't even think I bought the boat. I'm pretty, uh, the lure, I'm pretty sure it's stolen. Gonna move. I'm just cruising back towards Molly Point, which is that way, and there's this little bommy right there with some weedy, sandy, grassy area here and a fish on top of it there. So I marked it and I called it check this. Later on, another time, I will come and check what that is. 
that's something that could hold fish and this is the type of stuff you look for when trying to find structure you can see it's a nice one meter or so bommy with flat either side cracker day cracker cracker day I've just come into Molly Point and um, Southern Sydney Fishing Tours is here. That's Peter. He's the charter that runs out of Botany Bay. He does offshore, he does inshore. So if anyone wants to do a fishing charter, learn a few things in Botany Bay, he's your man. Go and say hi to him on Facebook, Southern Sydney Fishing. Alright, I'm back at the Green Marker, Tugs. There's only one boat here. That's going to change very soon because the wind is starting to pick up really badly offshore and people are going to come in here for protection. It's only 12.20, which is freaking phenomenal. Which means I'm going to go home soon and I'm going to have a nap. But we're going to, we're going to drop a few baits here at the Green Marker first, see how we go. And then I'll head out of here. I'm going to put you there. I can't believe it's been four weeks since I've been fishing. Really got to try and get out here every single weekend from now on. It's a really good way to end the week. Hard work at work in front of a computer all day. I need this. I need this every weekend. Oh! Oh! Stay on! Oh! Yeah! Yeah! That hookup is so iffy. That was a really iffy hookup. Where are you? What are you? Snapper. Snapper. Snapper or brim. Come on now. Chopper. Chopper Taylor. Okay. 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 That half pilly rig is right in the schnoozle. And I've only got a 14 gram UV yellow sinker. And that's getting down 21 meters. The current is brilliant. Sorry about the aeroplane. Look at that. Beautiful. 21.3 meters here. Straight down beside the boat. That's a big boy. That is a big pointus. Pointies. Pointies. I'm so freaking surprised that 14 grams is actually going straight down beside the boat here there's no current 21.5 meters now i'll be down I'll be on the floor Get baited. Are you kidding me? Someone just snipped my hook off. Hook is gone. We'll be right back. Yeah. Why is my drag so 
little snapper. Not bad. That's got to be a bloody. I almost lost it because my drag was too loose. I don't know why it was so loose. Yeah, nice bloody. The net is as far as it can freaking be. Flathead. That's boat behind me. Scared the shit out of me. So the half pilly has done its job. It's a very short leader, very effective for flathead. And as you can see, green marker is holding big flathead. Oh, it got me. It got me good, but who cares? A bit of blood does not hurt. That is a 50 plus centimetre flathead and that's coming home for the barbecue. Absolutely beautiful. Look at it. Give it a measure and put it in the tank. I will say and I'll put that in the tank with David and Daffo Don't you dare fall mate, you're gonna spike my leg Go, beautiful. Freaking blood all over me. Happy days. I suppose now would be a good time to announce the winner of last video's competition. And man, was it a good competition! Barbie, Barbie competition. So yeah, I'm really stoked with everybody who got involved in that one. I enjoyed reading the comments, especially the references to Aqua. I'm a Barbie girl. Come on Barbie, let's go party. Hi Barbie, hi Ken, you wanna go for a ride? They were brilliant. Thank you for letting me relive my childhood. I absolutely loved Aqua when I was a kid. So the winner of the competition is up there in the screen on that side right now congratulations you've won the barbie and ken sinker pack which is uv black lumo white uv pink and lumo blue sinkers as well as a spikes hat the official quality beautiful spikes fishing hat there is a catch you can choose spikes at the front or half pilly at the front i got both made just in case someone didn't want spikes, you can have half pilly, vice versa. Congratulations and thank you to everybody who got involved. I really enjoy doing these giveaways, engaging with you all and giving back to the community. It's freaking, it's the best feeling. And I couldn't see myself ever not doing it since I've started doing it. So thank you. I don't know what this week's comp is going to be. You're going to have to keep watching to find out. If I can catch a fish. If I don't catch a fish, no comp.
can't leave on a snapper now, can we? One more. One more fish. I think it's going to storm, so this has to be my last drop. I didn't want to leave the session on a snapper, but we can't always control the way things end up. It's been an absolutely phenomenal fishing session. Four weeks off, doing work, having no motivation to come out. I'm finally back, and I just want to give a big shout out to Coley from the Fishing Shed Bathurst. He, um, he did a podcast last night, told me to watch it gave my channel a little bit of a plug and promoted my sinkers which was really unexpected and nice of him I really appreciated it but um he actually told me to get my ass out here today regardless and there was some words he said which I'll share with you even though it might be a little bit corny I was giving him all the excuses in the world as to why I won't go fishing tomorrow which was today and um he told me these words you are Mel Spikes. And I think that's all I needed to hear. Just remembering who I am, what I'm capable of, what I've achieved in the fishing years of my life. They're amazing, you know? It's, it's just absolutely astounding what I've done. And those words helped me this morning get out of bed and get my ass into gear to come out and do what I love and share it all with you guys so coley if you're watching thank you very much mate to everyone else he is the fishing shed bath first he's the feet he he does the podcast three fat fish shows i think i got that right um check him out give him a follow every night on friday 7 30 they do a podcast so tune into that if you've got nothing else to do and want to hear about all things fishing i'm going to wrap it up I'm gonna go see he's back at the ramp. Now I'm pretty sure that's a little storm brewing there. It's a good time to leave. Let's do it. Let's get out of here. it back beautiful
If you're wondering where I am, this is St George Sutherland Shire Anglers Club, private club ramp. Always looking for new members. It's um, a very family friendly, beautiful bunch of blokes and ladies. Club is um, just over there. Meetings every fortnight, look them up online, contact them if you want to get involved. They do put on a hell of a barbecue, which we all know. The key to my heart is food. So that's where I am. And there's not one person here. Not one person here. Here is the only fish that I've kept for the day. That's a nice 50 centimeter plus flat head. I'm going to slit its throat and bleed it. And then I'm gonna show you how I fillet it. There's two ways to do it. Okay, so here's the flat head. It's a really weird angle, but that's okay. They've got two fins. You're gonna cut in between the two fins on a diagonal back towards the head. And you're gonna hit the spine, turn your knife this way and run the knife back down the spine. Be very careful not to cut yourself. This blood is a girl see the eggs coming out so once you once you get the right spot you can basically just slide all the way down being very careful not to cut yourself there's the eggs two fins in between on an angle, down to the spine, turn your knife. There's two ways you can skin it. Skin is still on. See where that big fin is? See this little pocket? It's a different colour to the rest of the flatty. You can put your thumb in there. And then you can peel that fin away from the skin. And then it's kind of tricky and it's kind of messy but you peel the whole fillet away from the top of the skin like that and then you use this as like a handle to pull the whole fillet out from the skin and I think the easiest way is to roll and always do it while your flatty is fresh don't go doing this after you've caught it, put it on ice, let it be all hard. It's a much harder process. So that's one fillet done. You can also do it with the knife, which I'm not really a fan of, but you can do it anyway. So there's the tip of the fillet. Run your knife down until you hit the skin. Use your nail to hold that skin down. And then you're just going to do it the same way I did the tailor the other day. Once you get a good grip on it, it's very easy. Then you just chop that bit off it's got the bone and you're left with skin only and a fillet 
easier. So that's it for me. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it when you guys take the time out of your day to join me on my adventures and see what I get up to and interact with me, be my friend. I really do appreciate it. I just want to remind everyone one thing. What that guy Coley told me last night, Coley from the fishing shed Bathurst, remember you are Mel Spikes. Guys, never forget who you are. The life around us can intimidate us, it can impact us, it can change the way we see things and it can interfere with us. Never forget who you are, it's the most important thing. And I let the world get the better of me sometimes, I let work get the better of me and I forget who I am. I am Mel Spikes. Competition for this week is tell me your favourite fish in the comments. I don't care what species it is, you tell me what your favourite fish species is and you're going to win a $150 gift voucher, a Spikes hat or a half pilly hat, whichever one you want, and some sinkers. So comment below, please. I want this to be a big one. It is a lot of money and a lot of gear that's going to be given away. So let's make it huge. Take care. Stay safe. Have fun. Never forget who you are. Thank you again. I will see you on the next one. Cheers.